Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to Wales tomorrow. It's my grand's walking group. I do this every single year and basically I'm going because the way the numbers worked out, there was a triple room, so my gran and my aunt go to this walking group and I have been invited along basically to, to fill out the rooms. So I thought, well, why not? It gets me a bit of a, a little getaway, why not indeed? I don't really know what it's going to consist of. I imagine it's mostly pensioners that I'm going with, so I don't know what I'll be up to in Wales. I know there's an Alice in Wonderland trail that my gran wants to go look at because um, there's a whole Lewis Carroll connection is the connection. Wait now Google so I can tell you what the connection is. Okay, so Google tells me that Lindidno, which is where we're going to in Wales, was the holiday destination of the real life Alice in Wonderland, Alice Liddell, who he wrote the books for and had a slightly creepy infatuation for, I think is, is my understanding of it. But then according to Sarah Stanfield, the chairman of the Lewis Carroll Society, from a quote she said in 2015, there is absolutely no evidence that Lewis Carroll visited Lindidno he was a meticulous diarist and there is no mention in his diaries that he came to the town so um yeah there's 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 some kind of a there's a, a questionable connection then I suppose is what we're saying um but there's an Alice in Wonderland trail that I'm going to go on but other than that I have no real idea what my long weekend is going to consist of but yeah I think there'll be some nice scenery and stuff so I'm hoping to vlog bits of it but I don't know how bigger vlog it will be but anyway that's not what this part of the video is about or this video if it's a standalone this is my pack with me video so as regular viewers will be unsurprised to hear my neighbors have been buying all morning so i've actually i've kind of planned my clothing wait i'll, I'll move this out of the way we'll get on to makeup hair and skin later so i'm going to travel down in my jeans so these are the asos ridley jeans and then i've got this t-shirt here, it's an old Marc Jacobs one, and then I've got this t-shirt here from J Crew, which I love. It's like, it's got a little cat in the pocket, it says Captain. And then I've got this Vineyard Vines quarter zip eh, that I got in Florida. It's got this sort of jazzy pattern across the top. So it is a coach trip, don't know how long I'm going to be sitting in this coach for. So I wanted layers and I wanted to be comfortable, so I'll wear one of those t-shirts travelling down, the other one travelling back, the quarter zip and the jeans. And then I've got quite a lot of shoes for a four day trip, but because it is a coach trip, I'm not restricted by weight. My gran just bought me these, I think she actually bought me them because of the absolute state of these, which I have not yet uh, replaced, but if I was to replace them it'd need to come from my replacements budget and I've got other things that I need to be spending my budget on right now, so I have been uh, going around in these that have a literal hole at the at the toe, but also these are canvas, so they're not great for winter. These are leather, but they're new, so I am thinking I might travel in them, because there's not going to be much walking involved in travelling. That will be my travel outfit, is the Stan Smith's jeans, t-shirt, jumper scenario. Then the first night we arrived there is a Mad Hatter themed night. Now I don't have anything Mad Hatter themed but in Alice in Wonderland there is the scene with the flowers in the garden. So I am wearing this dress and it's a little bit eccentric as a dress because the top is like leopard print and then the bottom half is the floral skirt. So I'm wearing that dress on the Friday night and this is a top to go under it because it's quite low cut. Underwear for this dress. Then on Saturday I'm wearing my green oasis pinafore with this shirt underneath it and I've got my black tights there for needing for this outfit and with that outfit I'm going to wear these black boots which are so old, absolutely love them, I would really just basically like the exact same boots again. Until they actually fall apart I'm going to keep wearing them. That's my Saturday day outfit, Saturday night is my I'm so sorry, my nails are so desperately needing done. I'll need to stop pointing at things and shoving them in your face. Uh, Saturday night, I've got my green midi dress. Again, I need specific underwear with that dress, so it's sitting on top of it. So this is what I do when I'm packing. If you've never watched one of my pack with me's before, is I'll put the outfit, and if I need any specific underwear for the outfit, I'll lay it with it so that, you know, I know that I'm definitely covered head to toe as such, inside out, the whole shebang. Sunday during the day, I've got this black ASOS dress that you're probably all sick of the sight of. And so my thought process here is that if these are proving comfy, I'll wear them with that dress. I've literally just said I'll stop pointing and then I pointed again. That dress with the Stan Smiths. Are these Stan Smiths? What are these? Superstars. 
what are you? Oh, I don't know. All the Adidas fanatics will be shouting at me. Superstars. There you go. Superstars. If they are proven comfy. If not, I'm going to take the old battered Supergas because, you know, I'll be wearing heeled boots on the Saturday all day. So, the Sunday daytime, it'll be one of those pairs of trainers. If they're proven comfy, the Adidas ones. If not, the Supergas. I just don't want to leave myself in a position where the Adidas ones need a little bit more breaking in and then I have to wear them all day on Sunday. Sorry, I should have said, with my outfit on Friday night, I've got those orange sandals there. With my outfit on Saturday night... I'm kind of torn with that green midi dress so I've got the adidas shoes which I think will look fine because generally I would wear that dress with my supergas but I'm also thinking we're going to take my Grenson boots which if you watched my haul video recently I got these in London I am very much trying to break them in not the most comfortable of boots yet I'm hoping we'll get there I'm going to persevere so again this is only because it's a coach holiday there's no way I'd be taking these boots if it was a holiday where the weight of my case made a difference but it doesn't so I'm taking the boots and I might wear the boots on Saturday night with the green dress we'll see see how I'm feeling see how my fear feeling then for Sunday night I've got this dress from Monsoon you've all seen that before I've got some leggings to go underneath it for warmth and then these socks actually this is probably really really boring chat but if you like wearing like Supergas or Vans because these socks are from Vans these are cut a little bit lower at the front so that if a normal trainer sock kind of comes over the top of your trainers eh, these ones are cut quite low so that they stay invisible and um, so I'll link them up below if I can find them I think I got them on ASOS and love them very dedicated to these socks and then on Monday for traveling back it'll be jeans and the other t-shirt that is my clothing those are my pyjamas, spade underwear. Let's see if I can pack all of this into my packing cubes. Saturday day outfit and I'll pack that one for travelling back so I will leave that out for travelling down in the morning. Right, there we go. Everything else is packed into cube number two. So two cubes of clothing, nice and easy travel outfit. In fact, well, I maybe put my shoes as like, so that is kind of a base layer of shoes and then I'll stick that on top and then that shoe can go here. And then that leaves me this space here for everything else. I think that'll be fine. Okay, I am putting my steamer here. I'm doing that thing where I'm still quite precious about the Grinsons because they're new and I'm not going to lie, there's totally part of me thinking do I put them in their box and then put the box in the case, but that's probably slightly overkill, right? Right? There we go, that's my old battered supergas there. Hair and makeup and that's us done. I say that as if that's going to be the simple part. I think we all know this has been the simple part. Okay, so that is all clothing and shoes in the case other than shoes for tomorrow and clothes for tomorrow so I'll put them to one side. These shoes have never yet been on so so don't worry about the fact I'm putting them on top of my jeans. I promise they're clean. So let's look at makeup. So I actually this was in work with me and I just brought it home last night. So let me go through what's in here because really most of this is my project pan stuff and that's probably mostly what I'm gonna have to take. Okay so NARS foundation, this is probably going to have to go. Not gonna lie, it's part of me absolutely sick of the sight of it, but it's in my project pan and if you're watching those videos, you know how slowly this moves. So 
I feel like four days is a lot to lose out on using this foundation for. My primer will be this one from Guerlain, so you're actually getting a sneak peek of my 12 pans of Christmas project pan items now, but yep, that's that's one of them, so that will be my primer. Powder, I'm not going to open this and spoil my 13 by Halloween project pan for you, but I am going to say I don't think there's enough left here to do four days, so I won't take that. I'll take my Hourglass palette for my pink blush. I'll take my Chantiquet highlight. Okay, lipstick wise, again, we're into my 12 Pants of Christmas, uh, Guerlain 1925. So that can be my red lip and my MAC red lip liner to match that. In fact, I'll take all three of my lip project pan uh, products. So this is my one from my main project pan. And then my ColourPop who run this lippy stick. I'll take that as well. I'll get a lip liner for that. I don't bother in work, but I'll grab one. So I pulled out ColourPop Love Bug to be my lip liner to match ColourPop who run this. So I've got primer, foundation, I'll take my MAC concealer from my project pan. I think I'll also put in this from Beauty Pie, which is my under eye corrector. So I'm going to take that with me too. So I said I needed powder because I wasn't taking that one. I'm going to take my Fenty. This is actually a powder foundation, but I just quite like it because it's pressed. And I'll be able to take that up and top it up with me when I'm out and about. I've kind of found at the moment I've really got myself low on pressed powders, but I've got a lot of loose powders, but I just don't reach for loose powders in the same way. Then I've got my blush and highlight so I've got lips, base, blush, highlight, eyes I'll take these two this is my current combination that I'm trying to finish up Urban Decay Subversion Primer Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara and I'm also going to take my Shuemura Eyelash Curlers I will take this my L'Oreal Setting Spray that's in my project pan I don't know if I'm really that fuss. Oh, I, I should take I've got an eyeshadow in my 12 pans of Christmas so I really should take that it just, I feel like I've got quite good lip products there that are not necessarily really strong bold lips like they can take in eyeshadow but they're they kind of stand alone if need to so um, I don't feel I need the eyeshadow but I'll take it just to to get some use out of it so that will be my eyeshadow so yeah I think that is a good face of makeup so let me get rid of the rest of this stuff nearly forgot there I've got my MAC lingering brow pencil so I'll take that as my brow product um, and now let me get rid of the rest of this stuff. So I've just done a proper brush laundry with the other brushes that were in here, except from this one, it had been very, very lightly used and I've just given that a clean with my Sephora Dry Clean um, because this is the brush that I'm going to take to use with this. So if you've watched my Pack With Me videos before, you know what I do is I put my makeup in here along with the brush used to apply it and that way nothing goes in without a brush essentially. Um, I don't need a brush for my setting spray. I don't need a brush for my primer. don't need a brush for my mascaras. Eyelash curler. This eyebrow pencil is really good for travel because it's got the pencil on one end and the spoolie on the other. So again, no brush required there. I'll put my lip products in because I'm quite happy just using them as they are. That leaves me my... Uh, under eye corrector and concealer, they need to go in and they need a brush, so let me, I'm sure I washed my ABH brush quite recently, well, maybe I didn't, I just did a brush laundry and this is what was dry from the last lot. Okay, if my ABH brush hasn't been cleaned recently, this one has done, so it's a Sephora number, eh, Sephora, not Sephora, sorry, Spectrum number 16, so it's just quite a thin little brush so I will use that for concealer and corrector. For my eyeshadow I'll take, these are both MAC brushes, MAC 239 to pack it on with, a MAC 217 to blend the edges. For my highlight I've got this Illamasqua brush, um, it doesn't say what it is but it's an Illamasqua brush. I think it was actually maybe called the highlight brush when I bought it so use that for that. For powder, I've got my Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes number one, so that'll do for that. And last but not least, I've got my blush here, and I'll take this is a Laura Mercier cheek brush. So that is my face and all my brushes. Easier than usual. I feel like I must have forgotten something because that was so simple, but 
there we go makeup done skincare wise from the bathroom i've just taken out my drunk elephant a uh, makeup butter and my elizabeth arden prevage cleanser so that will be my makeup removing and cleansing and then my lizero muslin cloths over here these are my project pan items actually i won't you two before i forget so this will be my perfume and body lotion for this trip gucci guilty and in fact a bit random but i need a pair of scissors because i'm fairly sure this is on its last legs so i think i'll need to cut it open to get the last out of it on the trip so body is there i'll take this hand cream because my other one is in work i'll take my fresh rose oil and serum so i've got cleanser that's a kind of hydrating serum hand cream so i want a moisturizer an spf and my vitamin c i think and i think for four days that'll do although i will miss my essence i really really like this medicaid spf but the lid does not stay on it like it's got bits like it's got bits on the side there if you can see that's as if the cap should clip into them but it used to but ever since it's kind of reached the end it, it doesn't it's as if it's gone slack um but I'm still going to take that as my SPF and put the lid back on it. So that is my SPF. So you can see here, like, it's as if the lid should click into place, but it doesn't. Um, I don't know if it's because I have obviously been squeezing this tube because I'm nearly at the end of it. And I don't know if that's kind of, I don't know, push the sides up a bit or something so that it won't. But it just will not clip back down. But either way that is the spf i'm taking because i'm nearly finished it in fact should i just take I've just gone through all of that but actually i'll just take this because i know it's not gonna the lid's not gonna come off and go everywhere so my super good play that will be my spf then my vitamin c my kills powerful strength and then i need a moisturizer now i've actually just cut this one open so i don't obviously want to travel with that i'll just take this one it's the fresh rose deep hydration this is a little bit heavy i've been using this as my nighttime moisturizer and the pixie one that i've cut open is my daytime moisturizer definitely notice a bit more congestion on my face when i'm using this especially when i'm also using the oil and serum so it'll probably be pretty black hairy after four days of using both but it'll be fine cleanser serum hydrating serum moisturizer spf body lotion hand lotion perfume obviously i need hand sanitizer but that will be in my handbag so all of that has fitted really easily into there that's my beautiful elizabeth scarlet wash bag so onto here i'm going to take my curling tong so I'll probably i'll take dry shampoo because i'm probably not going to bother washing my hair whilst i'm away i'll take this dry bar hot toddy it's a heat protectant spray but it's for dry hair so good if you're restyling your hair so heat protectant spray dry shampoo i think that'll do for the sake of four days there we go dry shampoo down there heat protectant on top uh, i need a hairbrush take my Anna from Frozen one so that can sit there in fact I'll put that in with my makeup so hairbrush is in there and then the curling tong I'm going to take is my GHD curve I think this is the classic one it's the tong with the thing because these curls are like obviously the barrel doesn't um get any thinner at the top the curls are the same size the whole way around so I do find they fall quite quickly but I do quite like the way they look so I'm going to take that and that is my little heat protectant mat that zips up and it can live in that for travelling. So I'm going to put these in the suitcase but I think I'll have that in my hand luggage so that I can do my makeup on the bus tomorrow because I am not getting up to do it before we leave. There we are so that is everything I think I actually need in my suitcase for this trip. There we are so all closed over no problems at all. Every time I take this suitcase down I say I meant to buy some Something nicer to put on to identify it my grand shoved these on they're not my taste even though this is my case the red ones are my cases so I need I need to get something at some point that will look nicer but it's one of those things I think about it and then I forget about it until I take the case back down to go somewhere so yeah ignore them not really my taste but suitcase is packed and shuts no problem now I just need to do my hand luggage now my thought process was whatever hand luggage bag I took I would just take my handbag as my hand luggage bag kind of thing but it's supposed to rain Saturday and Sunday and this is where you know those long shawm totes that like loads and loads of people have for commuting the reason loads of people have them is because 
they're kind of really easy they take loads of stuff you can throw them on they kind of go with anything and they are water I think they're water resistant rather than waterproof that time of year where my grand starts asking me what I want for Christmas and I think maybe one of those totes could be on the list potentially and um, my friend Lauren's bought a few recently and they've been so useful and then my gran actually got one that I think I know I bought and then I bought my gran one for her birthday earlier this year because I'd seen how much use Lauren was getting out of hers um, and I'm, I'm quite convinced because basically the reason I'm talking about totes is because if it wasn't going to be raining I think I would just take my Daunt Books um, tote bags but they are no use in the rain so I think in place of that I'm going to take this from the Cambridge Satchel Company so this is the Sophie bag now I do really like this bag but the one thing I will say, you need to lift this every single time to open it and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, I don't think you can really see but basically the like plating is all wearing here because you have to touch that all the time to lift it. I think I would definitely stick to their leather bags and I definitely I wouldn't buy any more of those bags which is a shame because I really... I love the frame, I love like a doctor's bag which is what these are based on. I've left messages on their live chat and email um, asking about the bag and nobody's come back to me and I've not pushed it like in absolute fairness to them. Like I could have contacted them via Instagram, I could have sent them another email but the fact that I've left the message and nobody's come back just kind of irks me. Um, so it would put me off buying any more of the bags with like closures like this. I do like it, I'm going to keep using it, but it's just, I wouldn't wreck, well, it depends how bothered you're going to be, like, I can tell that this is just going to get worse and worse and worse, and I know myself it's going to really annoy me, if it's not going to bother you, obviously, it's not going to bother you, but, I mean, these bags are around the £500 mark, they're 465 or something like that, I think, so, they're not cheap, although they're not, like, designer bag prices, it's a lot of money, and I'm just, that's kind of annoyed me. Especially because I got it for my birthday in 2021 and then we were kind of back into another lockdown so like so I can see that the like the gold plating is wearing away on that and I don't actually feel I've used the bag all that much because of the way things were for a lot of 2021. Still although we weren't in full lockdowns we weren't back to normal, I wasn't out and about like yeah I don't think I've used it very much for the fact it's already showing quite visible wear into the eye it is visible I don't think the camera's really showing it but it is quite visible but anyway side notes about the bag to one side that is the handbag that I will take I don't think I can really take it's my hand luggage so I've got my Daunt Books tote that is not waterproof but that's not going to matter for taking it on the bus um so I want to put this into that then this is the book that I'm reading at the moment um Maeve Binge Circle of Friends contact lenses I will put in here my sunglasses, I'll be taking my phone, the headphones, purse and then I want to take some work away with me but I need to actually get a clipboard so that I have something to rest on on the bus so I think I'm actually going to go into town and buy that before I go to the cinema tonight so yeah but I think this will pretty much be the majority It'll be this plus a clipboard is what's going in my hand luggage I think actually I'll just put this in my case so we'll get that in so that's in there, that's to go in there obviously in the morning as well my phone charger but obviously I'm going to have to charge my phone tonight. And then this is my suitcase zipped back up absolutely fine with the handbag in it. But yeah this is definitely where if I'd had like a sort of waterproof tote bag probably in some kind of a neutral colour that would have gone with because I'm wearing kind of greens Saturday and Sunday but I'm travelling in like jeans and a navy quarter zip Friday and Monday so something kind of beige would have gone with everything but yeah the only the only tote bags I've got are a uh, canvas and not waterproof so that's no use for Saturday and Sunday. I've just shoved that handbag in there as it is, I've put it in, in its dust bag. If I was packing a bag usually I would pack stuff into the bag into the case rather than having an empty bag taking up all that space but there's loads of space in that case um, because it is only a four day trip so I think that's pretty much it isn't it? All my stuff is in the case so in the morning I need to remember my toothbrush, my deodorant and my phone charger 
and that's us good to go. So that will be my pack with me for Wales video. If I do end up vlogging in Wales I'll put the Wales vlog up as a separate video because I think this video is probably quite long enough as it is. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!